You might be surprised to know that SEO is absolutely critical to the success of your business online. Hey, whoa, hold on, Mr. Freeman. We haven't even gotten into an intro yet. Hey, Marcus here from Animink Website Professionals. Today, we're diving deep into the world of SEO, and we've got some quick tips to help you improve your Google search ranking. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. So let's get started. Did you know that Animink opened its doors about one month after Google in good old 1998? I'm sorry. I'm loving this AI stuff way too much. Crazy. It's been 25 years. A lot has changed in the world of SEO, but one thing that remains constant is this. Where your website ranks on search engines can make or break your business. Your organic traffic depends on it. Having your website on the top search results page is like striking gold. There's gold in them die hills. But even if you have the coolest website in town, it's all for nothing without that magical ingredient, effective SEO. No matter how big or small your business is, a solid SEO strategy is a must. It's a game changer that brings more organic traffic, builds trust with customers, and offers a fantastic return on investment. Now, who wouldn't want that? Show me the money! All right. Now let's get to the good stuff. How do you increase your Google search ranking? Google is the king of search engines and to succeed online, you've got to play by its rules. Being on that first page of search results is huge for your business. It makes your website look trustworthy and brings in the lion's share of organic traffic. So here are some tips to help you reach that coveted spot. If you're going to make something great, you got to start at the bottom. <laughs> Thank you, Morgan, uh, but he's right. You've got to build a strong foundation. Even the best SEO campaign can't save you if your website's architecture and structure are a mess. If it's a maze for your visitors, it's a maze for Google's algorithms too. So make sure your website is easy to navigate. Consider getting some professional help to perform a technical SEO audit. That covers things like speed, responsiveness, and visual stability. These are the basics that can give you a leg up on the competition. Speaking of, if you'll look in the description, you'll find that we offer a free website audit. We will do a comprehensive look at your website and see where we can help you out or you can help yourself out to bring out the best in your website. Now, this video focuses on SEO, so we're gonna assume that you have a well-designed website that loads quickly and looks great. Okay, let's talk about your audience. Who are you targeting? Figuring out your target audience is crucial. You need to answer some questions like where they live, what they do, what they care about, and where they hang out online. For our SEO clients at Animink, we have a six page questionnaire that we work through to establish these demographics. But we have a simpler questionnaire available free for you to download and use for your business. The link is right here in the description. Once you've got this info, you can tailor your SEO efforts to attract them. Don't get overwhelmed. I'm a cotton-headed ninny muggins. Consider hiring a digital marketing expert to help you pinpoint your ideal audience. Keywords, 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 they are the heart and soul of SEO. You need to find the right keywords for your business. Think about how your potential customers search online. What terms would they use to find your products or services? Once you've got your list of keywords, incorporate them into your content. Whether you create new stuff or revamp your existing content, make those keywords work for you. Who does number two work for? For example, if you're an electrician in Charlotte, North Carolina, you're gonna start by making a list of keyword phrases that people would search for to find your business. Don't worry too much about exactly what you need yet, just jot down everything you can. Then, highlight your top 20 or 30 keywords that you'd really like to target. Try to stay within this range. Move these into a new list that we'll call focused and relevant keyword phrases. Your focused keywords are words you're gonna incorporate more often into your content and really work to rank highly for. 
The relevant keywords are important and you should use them, but your focus should be on the focused keywords. You're making him lose his focus. I'll also include a link to this Google Sheet in the description for you to use. Think about it like this. How is Google supposed to know what your business is about if you don't talk about it on your website and use the very keywords people are searching with to reach you? Make sense? Yes! There's nothing better in life than an honest, helpful friend. <laughs> Okay, in today's world, people expect to find answers online and your business needs to be the one providing them. Whether it's about big purchases, shopping, medical questions, or anything in between, everyone's online looking for solutions. So your job is to provide informative and helpful content. This not only answers user questions, but also promotes your business as an expert in your field. Blog posts, articles, and infographics are your allies here. If you need help, there are professionals who can craft engaging and informative content for your audience. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know I'm doing it really, really well. Note that as you write these posts and other information, you'll want to include your keyword phrases in the content. Google will index your website, see the content, and in turn, increase your ranking for that phrase. So you've helped your customers and your business. It's a win-win. A special word of advice here, you want to incorporate these keyword phrases outside of your website as well, including your Google local listing and social media. You should do this in such a way that it looks natural to Google. Now, before we wrap it up, remember these tips can take you a long way in improving your search rankings. They're a fantastic starting point, but the world of SEO is a constant journey. Google's algorithms are ever changing. To stay on top, you need to adapt and pivot your SEO strategy. As a business owner, staying on top of these changes requires experience and a calculated approach. But what I do have, are a very particular set of skills. And that's where professional SEO companies come in. They've got the knowledge and experience to help you navigate the ever-evolving landscape. For over 25 years, the SEO team at Animink has been helping businesses boost their search engine rankings, increase their online presence organically, and dramatically improve their SEO efforts. We use all of these tips to create a custom SEO strategy for your business, but we take it a lot further than what we've shown here. As experts in SEO, we look at keyword search volume, we perform competitor analysis, and we review extensive analytics to discover the best path for your company online. So if you're ready to take your SEO game to the next level, consider reaching out to Animink today. You talking to me? And that's a wrap, folks. Thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our awesome content. If you found this video helpful, share it with your fellow business enthusiasts. And remember the free audit for your site. The link is right here in the description. It's really the first step in any business's SEO journey. And if you like this type of content, be sure to let us know. Until next time. You wanna see a miracle, son? Be the miracle.